Okay, so today we're going to be revisiting the Sergeant Johnson glitch in the final mission of Halo 2. So, to start off, we want to stick this guy, hop in this Spectre and head on out here. Now, we want to park it somewhere we're going to remember. So, hop out, grab one of these ghosts, and we can continue on on the mission. Head on off. Now I'm going to skip forward to the next important part of the mission. So we uh, are about halfway through now. We come to this platform. We want to kill all these uh, brutes. And we'll get a cutscene coming up in a moment. So we want to wait till that clears. Now this is important. Otherwise all the wraiths will spawn. So as soon as you get this cutscene here. We need to head back towards the, uh, the way we came. And we need to keep going into the, I think, the, the first room. Which is uh, when we'll get Sergeant Johnson make some uh, little statement here. So we come back through here. And we need to wait for that that uh, that dialogue from Sergeant Johnson. And that will spawn in our, our Banshees and also despawn in the Wraiths. So we uh, obviously hop in our Banshee here fly on down to where we parked the spectre uh, at the beginning of the mission so we see on the floor that the wraiths are, are despawned otherwise they would be shooting at us so we come down here and we parked our spectre just around the corner here so we jump out the banshee hop in our spectre and this is where we begin the start of the glitch anyway so Jump on down over this ledge here, holding A so you don't damage the vehicle. Now what we need to do is we need to drive this spectre on top of that structure up there. So we need to find a sneaky little way around here. So we just go under the water here. You shouldn't... There's no need to worry about dying or anything I change it into the old graphics just to be able to see a little bit easier it's when you have the anniversary graphics on sometimes some of the textures just get in the way see the lines a little bit easier in the classic mode so we come up here probably easier to switch to classic mode because you can see the lines a bit easier like here yeah, I get stuck bullet in classic mode we can see a bit better now there are a couple of ways around this bit here there are a few different routes but this is the way I've I've always known how to do it so up here we head down this little ledge being careful not to to roll it or flip it otherwise it's game over we have to start again so aim for this little corner here and you have to sort of hold A to lift the front up and wiggle the spectre around. It takes a a minute to get it in the right position. You sort of force it up here. As soon as you get the front up, that's fine. So we need to jump as well onto this ledge here. There we go. Come along. Now we're going to be dropping down here. And uh, you need to try and keep the spectre in a certain position. So hold A, keep the front up. Otherwise, you may hit a, a fall zone where you where you die. But if you land on the bottom, that should be fine. And then again, jumping across, we want to hold A, lift the front end of the Spectre up so we land on the platform. Just in time for Johnson uh, in the... Uh, just in time for Johnson in the Scarab. So now we just need to wait here. We'll uh, have Johnson start his dialogue in a moment. So I tried this glitch uh, a few months ago, last year, uh, 2019, and I could not get it to work. So unless they've done a patch. Okay, so Johnson's talking. And obviously we hear the Scarab now blasting its way into the structure. Now, you'll get some text to come up at the bottom. And you've got to time it right. So we'll see in a moment we'll get the text in the bottom and that's kind of like my cue to jump out of the vehicle 
here we go we've got the text coming up jump out the vehicle now i'm looking at the vehicle and as i jump off we want the specter to be falling over the edge and if we turn around here we are we have the specter parked nicely for me now you might notice the time in the bottom right is a big difference that's because i was messing around with uh trying to get this uh glitch the first couple of tries I was uh, kept jumping over there and Johnson was, uh, uh, I kept dying because I was trying to record obviously all the Johnsons. So. so we get Johnson on the Spectre just by driving over at him, jump out the way and then you'll get on the back here. These are uh, elite, pesky elites are trying to get in the vehicle which we don't want because we want those seats reserved. There we go, another Johnson spawn look, so. Get him in our passenger seat. Now we gotta kick our elite out here because he's got in the way. I think. Uh, there we go, we got the third Johnson spawn in. Now I forgot to have a grenade here, but you really wanna have a sticky grenade because when we jump over now, we have the uh, three Johnsons on the, the Spectre and ideally we'd wanna chuck a sticky grenade onto, onto it to blow it up and get them off. So. Right over here, I just grabbed two of these uh, plasma pistol, the plasma rifles. And there we see, we've got the Johnsons unloading into Tartarus. Makes this final mission a hell lot easier on Legendary, especially if you're trying to do the speed runs. So I tried this glitch last year and I couldn't get it to work, but they might have done a patch to allow it again see our Johnsons we see how quick he gets killed on legendary blasted in there with their beam rifles and the good thing is they don't budge when Tyrus uses his hammer they just <laughs> they're grounded like they're, there we go he's dead we got all our Johnsons here hello Johnson Johnson one Johnson two Johnson three looking cool and that's the end of the mission so we got the uh, Johnson glitch still working. Thanks for watching and watch maybe some other videos where I may do the speed running for the Mr. Monopoly's uh, achievement, which I've already done, but I'm gonna try and rematch my uh, times.